pen to use 2 valve manifold, 3 valve manifold and 5 valve manifold. So remember that for a transmitter, 2 valve manifold is very simple. You have two valves to it. One is going to be your isolation valve. The other is going to be your vent and drain valve. This is how it looks in the real world. And this is the diagrammatic representation that you can draw. Second is when you have 3 valve manifold. Now 3 valve manifold here is used for DP transmitters. You will have these two tappings or these two valves is open and this one is closed. But when you want to remove the transmitter out, you would have to close these two things you would have to open the equalization valve and you know if you want to vent or drain it then you might have to use maybe the transmitter vent or drain to release it out either to the atmosphere or to a closed drain system but when it gets to a five-way manifold now here a lot of configurations available this is one of the most used configurations here you would keep the remember the two extreme sides are always open and the middle three work together so the middle three are closed in normal operation remember that five-way manifold is specially used for venting things or draining things so you have the extra precaution or the extra way to vent or drain now here in the operation when you want to remove your transmitter you would have to keep the extreme two valves closed and the middle three are going to remain open so the first two would equalize it and the third one would vent it out either to a closed system or to the atmosphere so 5a manifold is specially used when you want to drain it etc here's a video here where i've talked about the top three questions that have been asked in control valves and if you've liked this video please subscribe let's meet next saturday and learn something new again